um, how did Womble get, you know, start using NeoToLogic? And so it was probably about three or four years ago when we uh, in the CAM department were looking for a document automation tool. And uh, we had tested out a variety of different uh, document automation tools. Um, and it was important to us to kind of automate uh, information and, and make things a little bit simpler. And as we were looking through them, um, Melanie and, our, and I, boss, talking to him, uh, we concluded that Neotologic was the, the platform for us because it offered the opportunity to not only do document automation, but all of these things that, that Jonathan had just has just explained, you know, expertise automation, process automation. We wanted to bring in a tool that would give us the ability to do other things beyond document automation. And, um, and that's how we brought in Neotologic into the firm. And we're thankful for that. I mean, we'll be talking about that a little bit later in the presentation, but um, why it was important and why we feel fortunate to be using such a platform because it does offer the ability to be creative, to be flexible, to do a lot of different things and not just pure document automation. Uh, and so, so that's where we uh, came from, you know, a couple of years ago in, in deciding that Neota was going to give us the best option moving forward uh, in the future. Yeah. That document automation is kind of the gateway drug, right? Um, <laughs> quickly, um, you know, just to talk about the flexibility. And then again, we will bring it back to the beginning when I said that we were looking at, a, at Neota as a document automation tool. Um, and if when COVID hit, I can tell you that if we had a document automation tool, a pure document automation tool, we wouldn't have been able to do the things that we were able to do uh, in response to COVID with Neota. Um, and what we were asked were, was to basically create an application that everybody in the, in the firm in the US would use to fill out, to self-report uh, their health before coming into the office. If we had a document automation tool, a pure document automation tool, we would not have been able to do what we did. And so we were able to quickly create a, a health application, uh, a, basically a health survey that, uh, that every, all the employees use. It looked great on a phone. Mm -hmm. They could get on a phone and just fill it out before they came into the office. They could do it on a desktop and fill it out. And that gave all of our directors of administration uh, notification of who was coming into the office. Um, and whether or not they were allowed to come into the office if they, you know, both said yes to any of those questions or something like that, they would have been told, you can't come into the office because you have a fee. Um, and then once it started catching on and people saw the utility of it, they, they started thinking, hey, you know what, that would be a good idea. Can you do this with my document or can you do this with my process? And you know, we brought it in with a with a big focus on you know helping the attorneys, and that was kind of our charge. And um, it kind of pivoted over time just because we needed to gain traction uh, with using this tool. And so we started uh, with some staff automations uh, where we could free up some some time with the staff to create documents or whatever it may be. And then once that got that caught on, you know, more and more individuals learned about it and then started asking the question of, can you automate this? And so that's how it started to grow for us. Yeah. So we usually do API calls to connect to Neotologic um, um, to our internal databases and to HiQ, which if, if you're in the legal industry, that's, you know, very heavily used. And, um, one thing in doing those I learned, like I've started out, I started out, you know, doing the REST API and having everything map in between text variables because it was just so much simpler. And then I realized that HiQ, um, their workflows, their automations that they offer, um, a lot of them rely on choice variables. So it's like things like that, just uh, learning um, what your outputs are. Um, you know, one of the really great things about Neota is honestly is, is the training. Um, you know, I knew nothing about it. I'm not a coder. I'm not a developer. Um, I have had always had interest in it, <clears throat> but going through that training, I mean, it was amazing. And I think anybody who, you know, takes on this platform, 
you go through that training, you will you will learn how to use this platform pretty quickly because the training is very thorough. Um, we also use NDM in, in some of our other applications, which is Neota's data manager, where it could be you could be saving data that 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 is input in a Neota application, and then another application uses that data that you input, and you don't and you can avoid the Excel sheet altogether. You can do that also. Really, it, it's been kind of, it's been kind of amazing what we've been able to do with the the data once we connected it to our internal databases. That's kind of like that's been a that's been a game changer for us. So, really, this relationship that we've had with Neota, we've been with Neota for about three or four years now. Uh, we've had a great relationship with Neota. Uh, like I mentioned, the the training is is great. Um, so when you're starting out. You, you've got good training. Um, but then when you start developing, uh, you're always gonna go back to the user manual uh, mm -hmm. that is available online. Um, and it gives great examples. It gives you, uh, you know, detailed ways of how to do certain things. And then most recently, maybe within the last year, Neota created a library within uh, the platform where it is a sample applications that probably the Neota solution architects have created to yeah. kind of give you an idea of how you can do certain things. Um, and that's been tremendously helpful.